Uh, he takes a while. So when he overcommits, he does commit. He keeps committing inwards, basically. Um, nice little goal right there to the near post. You always got to aim for the near post there. And he, he does end up scoring the opportunity, which is great. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have El Shirawe to try out today. Uh, this is a very interesting card. So far, from predetermined judgment, Kalu looks like the best option, right, out of the first storyline cards. But I do want to review this card because some people, some people don't necessarily need to pick a specific player. Like, everything is based off of, like, what you want to do in your team. Is El Shirawe a player that you want, right? Are you Italian? Are you this? Are you that? Like, what's your sentimental value towards a card? All that kind of stuff is important. What's the state of your team? Do you have the SBC Ether so that you can, you know, maybe link him up with El Shirawe? A lot of different stuff, right? To have fun with the game. So uh, what we're going to be testing out today is whether the specific stats that he doesn't have, if they piss me off. Because I think the sniper chemistry style is important on the card, and we're going to get into that in a bit. He's 5'10 with medium high work rates. Medium high work rates, it's not terrible. It's a weird work rate to have in the attacking area. Um, but right off the bat, I can see this card being a cam for me. I can't see him being a left wing or a right wing because of the specific stats we're going to be looking into. Um, but medium high work rates, playing the central cam position for me personally. Three star weak foot, five star skill moves. Obviously, five star skill, skill moves is always a fun thing to have. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But it's the specific attributes that he's missing that I feel like EA missed the ball with, right? Like the only things they could have done with this card is they could have given it 75 long passing and 84 shot power. Because if you gave him the sniper chemistry style, right, the card would have been very usable. It's not a complete meta card because he's playing from the Chinese league with Italian link-ups. There's not really much you could do with that in general, right? So I think, uh, oh, also the 81 stamina. Could have been an 86, 87, not hurting anybody by doing that, right? It just sucks that when they have these special versions of these cards, and you're probably never gonna see more of them, it just sucks that they don't improve them the way that they should be improved considering the league, club, and all that kind of stuff, right? But sniper chemistry style on him is because, as you guys know, I like responsive dribbling. But there's two different things here. Is reactions being 76. You need a plus 5 on that. And you need a plus 5 on the composure that's also 76. So an 81 to both of them, right? Um, with 81 on both of them, but really improved dribbling stats in general. You know, you're increasing the agility by a plus 8. Um... Uh, actually, I think he doesn't have, oh, he does have full chemistry, so it is a plus eight. Uh, well, I'm an idiot because it's a 99. Um, you know, you give him the balance boost and all that kind of stuff too. The shooting being 99 finishing, but 78 shot power, the 78 shot power part is what we're going to be testing. The long passing being 65 is what we're going to be testing. You can't really give this card an engine. You could, you could, but it wouldn't necessarily be ideal because then you would have 85 finishing with 78 shot power but would your general experience using the card be better yes it would be um but the main things that we're gonna be testing on this card is going to be stamina long passing and shot power are those three things gonna annoy me a lot in game because he has no physical presence and he's also five foot ten so that's another thing that we have to test on the card right um, the way that we're going to be lined up in game, we are going to take out Ether. We're going to put in Headliner's name mark because there's no way I'm using Ether. Uh, we're going to be using the 4-2-3-1 as we normally do. Uh, El Shirar will be playing in the central camp position. But he doesn't have stamina, so we're going to keep him unbalanced for the comeback and defense support. So we'll just keep it the same for Nedved and Palatano, And then we'll have Neymar up top. We're going to see how El Shirawe maneuvers in the middle position for the cam position and we're going to see what his off the ball movement is like is he going to be an aggressive attacker is he going to ask for the ball got to ask we got to see um what type of play style he'll prefer i think in this team i could do a four three two one i'm pretty sure i could do a four three two one and it would work but uh yeah it doesn't matter we're just gonna the, the important thing here is we're going to use 100 chemistry on 10 with el shirawe so let's get into a game and see how he plays all right, let's see what his dribbling is like here. Yeah, his dribbling's pretty responsive. No problem with that. Sniper chemistry style definitely helps it out a lot as well. So, uh, yeah, no problem with the dribbling. Oh, he's making a good run right here, actually. Oh, I should I could have probably gone for the finesse shot there, but I wanted to go for the near post for some reason. But uh, he lost stamina really fast right there. In that one attacking play... 
he lost it really quickly. Positioning there wasn't too bad. Oh, that would have been such a good play there, man. <laughs> Long passing there for a generic pass wasn't too bad. It wasn't like a specific like hard one, but he did it okay. He did an okay job there. Good response to dribbling right there. Let's see what he does to transition back here. Uh, it takes a while. So when he overcommits, he does commit. He keeps committing inwards, basically. Um, nice little goal right there to the near post. You always got to aim for the near post there. And he, he does end up scoring the opportunity, which is great. Um, I, I do notice that that characteristic of his, that when he runs into space, he's not the type of person that's going to realize he's offside and then go back right into, on, into the onside position. But uh, his dribbling is very responsive. It is what it uh, what allowed us to score that opportunity right there. Not a, it's not necessarily like a big deal. Like you know, if someone if someone were to run into the space and they take a little longer to transition back, it's not a big deal. But it is something that I like players being able to do because it kind of just makes their defenders move constantly, right? And it opens up the space better for you. Yeah, that's where he's best utilized, man, is that, is that dribbling, right? So you don't use the physical presence with his card as, at all. If you give him that sniper chemistry style, he's going to be very, very fast on the ball. Good position there with him. That was good positioning. Made sure he was onside the entire time. That was good. Nicely done. Always get that ball roll angle. If you don't do the ball roll angle, you just won't score that opportunity. Sometimes some, sometimes shots across goal uh, is very 50-50. It's either you get it or you don't. Uh, in that situation there, ball roll touch to get past the goalkeeper just makes the more, most sense right there. All right, guys. In the central camp position, he was okay. He wasn't too bad. Uh, we are going to use him in the left attacking mid position now. Right, right foot on the left side with a three-star weak foot. And uh, we're going to see how that goes. I want to see what his off-the-ball movement is like there. He's very usable as a cam. His dribbling is very responsive with that sniper chemistry style. Um, so I did like him in that general position. So we're going to go ahead and try him out to the sides now and see how he plays there. His left stick dribbling is very responsive. I will admit I'm not liking him in the left and right attacking position. I, for me personally, he feels like the type of person that I would never use on the sides. Like I feel like the whole point of this card is to utilize that drib dribbling capability that he has. And when he's in the left or right, uh, right attacking position, I feel like personally, um, it's not really... It's not really something that I'm utilizing the most with him. He's not necessarily the fastest player. Like, I need fast players on the sides. Um, I don't need dribblers on the sides unless I'm playing, like, possession-based build-up, right? Um, so, yeah, I, I would say I would say to specifically use him in the cam. Like, once uh, once it's half time where I get the pause here, I'm going to be putting him back there because I, I really don't like him on the sides. Nicely done, Neymar. I'm gonna go ahead and switch him now because I don't know, man. He's, it's just there's no point in having him there. You can see that with the comeback on defense. Look at his stamina bar already, right? You see how he's like already depleted. Uh, telling him to not come uh, come back on defense and to stay in the central camp position is gonna be the most ideal situation, I think. There, now he's in the middle. Quick pass. Open up the space here, a little drag back, near post shot, nice little goal right there. Alright guys, so final verdict on the card, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, I wouldn't choose this card out of all the three. Uh, there's El Shirawe, there's the Japanese player that plays for the same team as Iniesta and Dawid Villa, so that could be a card to look into right now. And then there's Kalu. I'm going to be honest with you guys, without even using the Japanese player yet, I would put this card in the third rank right now, out of all three of the options. Now. 
That being said, in regards to choices I would make, if you want to get this card for sentimental value, that makes 100% sense. Because if this was Portuguese, I would do this card in a heartbeat, right? Um, so the thing about this card, right, is that when you give him the sniper chemistry style, his dribbling is very responsive. But a lot of other players can be responsive too, right? It's not a matter of like... It's not a matter of him being a terrible card. It's just that I can get a lot of players that are good dribbling, but then are also good at doing other things too. Um, his acceleration being 89 and his sprint speed being 91. I only noticed El Shrawi the most when it came to dribbling, not for pace. It was just dribbling. So that's why in the cam position, that's where he was the most ideal in, in the left. Uh, left attacking mid position, right attacking mid position, the medium high work rates, it just doesn't work for it, man. It's super weird for this card, right? For Chiesa, he had some weird work rate last year, but he had such a good attacking stats and attacking contributions that he was a beast on that side, right? But El Shirawe didn't feel good on the sides. I immediately switched him in game. Um, with this sniper chemistry style, you give him perfect finishing. The finishing being perfect is nice, but the shot power being low, noticeable. The 78 shot power was noticeable. Um, the long passing being 65, not too noticeable, but it will be from really clutch situations from time to time if you want to make a really specific angle and you know you can't take an extra touch. Um, but generally speaking, it's a usable card. It's usable. I'm not going to say it's not. It is. But is this in the third rank for me out of the three options? I would say that. He's a very, very generic card definitely like didn't feel special in any way i liked kalu's card a lot um so far he's my top choice in regards to the selections i would choose from cards that i actually used so um yeah we'll take it from there boys thank you guys so much for watching the videos uh maybe we'll see an spc later today i don't know if they're going to release an spc but if they do then uh, we'll do a play review on that as well okay peace out dudes love you guys you guys have yourself a good day all right bye